This is iPhone 13. To tell you more, here's Randy. Welcome back to the Telosim Tech Podcast, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're talking iPad. iPad is a truly groundbreaking product that has been known to 5G, 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 5G. 5G, 5G we got 5G, 5G on the iPad Mini 6! Woo! I've never cared so much. Holy crap, you guys. My what a stacked event. Oh, that's not what I was gonna say. What were you, What were you gonna say, Nick? What a disappointment! Get what him off. A disappointment. It's the Randy and Drew show. <laughs> we're talking. Okay, bye, guys. I we're talking just about. <laughs> uh, we're, we're gonna do an entire show based on iPad. Uh, 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 Apple Watch Series Seven called "I Know What Color Randy's Gonna Get." Ah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. The amount of tweets I was getting in my <laughs> inbox at me, uh, it, it's like four. It is alarming. Ooh. Seven. It is alarming. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> how many people just immediately like, oh, that's the Randy edition. It's we just had our 11 Pro moment for the Apple Watch. Yeah, yeah. I it mean, is perfect. It is perfect, Randy Green. It is. They might as well call it that. It's, it's beautiful. Um, yeah, but now, oh, okay. I, I don't want to. I don't want to get ahead of myself. Let, we'll, we'll go through the motions. There is a correlation between the new Apple Watch and what we're gonna do with iPhone, but we will get there. Let's first build the okay. suspense the way they did with us, and let's talk about iPad. iPad. This. What was so disappointing? That nothing about the iPad event. Um, I was really excited. Okay. That my favorite iPad now has True Tone. Like, what? <laughs> no, actually, I had no idea that that iPad didn't have True Tone until they specifically That's said... That's what I was thinking. <laughs> it's like, wait, it didn't have like, True wait, Tone? what? <laughs> what? Where was True Tone? What do you Why mean? Why didn't it? Everything's yeah, had True well. Tone for, like, years, right? Like, what's going on here? Oh, well. No, but Center Stage! Dude, oh totally my God, Center Stage! Woohoo! <laughs> center Stage is on everything. I would like to point out, I regret not bringing this up in the video, the budget iPad has a higher megapixel front camera than rear. Which Ouch. makes sense. It probably should. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Which makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> the I, that camera on an iPad, you're probably using more than the rear. And this is the first Fair. time we're seeing the iPad with a higher megapixel on the front than the back. It's probably a better overall camera. It's an ultra-wide. The center stage feature was so much fun when I had it. And now the fact that I don't in a $300 iPad does little tear well just a little in one. my heart fear mm -hmm. not though drew because i am heeding your advice a few episodes ago i am selling yes. this this hunk hunky yes piece of mm, because let me tell you <laughs> something my biggest fear was the laminated display and ipad mini has that sucker it does Woo. yes it does and it's got stereo speakers, which USB was crucial. A15. And center stage. Holy crap. And center yep. stage. Totally. And so an on a mini can iPad. truly be an iPad. Literally, nothing else. I've been asking for this iPad since the 2018 iPad Pro came out. Like, the iPad uh -huh. mini was my first Apple device. I know lots of people don't know mm -hmm. that. And, that like, iPad mini was my favorite. You know, it was 2012. Like, that was, that was, like, my favorite Apple device for a long time, even after it was kind of old and outdated. Just it was so compact. Like, I could palm it very I easily. It. it was a great yes. size. But Apple just never touched it. I remember with the iPad mini 3. I was considering getting the iPad Mini 3, but I ended up not getting the mm -hmm. Mini 3 because it got like, I don't even know if it got a processor bump. I can't remember what year that was. <laughs> and no, it literally yeah. just got Touch ID. The Mini 3 literally just got Touch ID. Right. And, and the no iPad CPU Air 2 got the CPU bump. And so I ended up getting an iPad Air 2 instead of a Mini 3. But I wanted the Mini mm -hmm. 3 because that's like, I love that size of device. It was great. And so oh, yeah. 
I lost it. Like, literally lost it. I, I, I'm so happy. <laughs> A little emotional at the moment, but that's wonderful. We'll we'll uh, we'll survive. Um, I've already pre-ordered uh-huh. one. Um, we're all, all set up getting one in. Um, I am so excited about this iPad. What Mini. color did you get? Yeah, so that was kind of a the snap decision, questions. and I might yep. change it around. I might put another pre-order in for different color if another one strikes my fancy. Um, mm-hmm. But but the decision was between the new what is it called a uh, sky or star starlight? blue they're all new colors yeah well, starlight starlight like yeah like starlight it's like starlight, this gold silvery kind of look tonight. there you go I'm gonna wish for it they kept space gray actually they did it was either between oh. starlight or space gray um, so I ended up going with starlight with an LTE configuration um, I'm specifically Ooh, asking you're for getting 5G. no 5G I, no I specifically in the uh, custom <laughs> order section I typed in no 5G please so I'm pretty sure Tim Apple will hook me up there to engrave it for ad engraving <laughs> no please 5G. no 5G, no 5G. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Uh, yeah, so that, that's the only device from this whole event mm. that I'm like legitimately excited about, and like it's so cute. I'm, it's perfect. It's it's beautiful. literally perfect. I love it. It's perfect. And it's cute. gorgeous. Mm. Do you like the volume button placement? I do. Honestly, I sense. do. It makes a ton of sense, and it's I don't yeah. mess with the volumes too much on my iPad to begin with. Like nine yeah. times out of ten, if I'm like watching something and I want it louder, I'm going to use Control Center mm-hmm. and use the slider. A right, because like right. I'm touching the screen already and it just feels a little bit easier than you know going up and of finding course. where the buttons are, and B you yes. know you get the more precise control um, of of how much volume it is. So I'm totally fine with it. Like yeah, I mean it's gonna take a minute to get used to, but Actually, I think it's fine. Go ahead. I realize that I only use the volume rocker through uh, the control center. I don't actually really use mm. the hard button anyway. No button at all. Maybe maybe they're working on that. I think in landscape mode, the volume placement makes a ton of sense. I'm wondering how it works if you're in portrait. Does left turn it up or does right turn it up? Uh, left turns it What's down. What's your guess? Okay. Left, Why? Because Explain that, your answer. Because <laughs> if you do it right now on your iPad right now in the landscape mode, left goes down. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm gonna stick with Randy. Left goes up. No, left for goes me. up. Well, hold on. Wait, wait. Yeah, left goes up, Randy. <laughs> what are you talking about? What did I say? <laughs> you said left goes down. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, okay, so left, left will go. <laughs> what I meant to say was how the orientation is. In, well, I think in landscape for us now is continuity will roll over for portrait mode or portrait position. Portrait mode. Uh, I guess why that's confusing is because the up volume doesn't change on the iPad, depending on the orientation. If you're in portrait, of course, left is the up one. If you're in landscape, you know, it doesn't change, I believe, if you hold it the other way, which you have to take the cover off to do. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how that'll work, but I'm sure it'll just be a a slight learning curve. And most people do use these things in landscape, I'll be be honest. And probably most importantly, though, Drew... USB-C, yay! Of course, I'm so this happy. is instantly makes the iPad Mini a better iPhone than any iPhone. Hundred <laughs> percent agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. It's part of the reason why I, I got the, the cellular version. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish I could pair my watch to it because I would totally try to to switch to the Mini completely if I this could. This would be the non-foldable foldable. Yeah. <laughs> well, it does fold, but only once. <laughs> this also says a lot about, think of the combos now people can make of like, foldables $1,800, or you could buy a freaking 13 mini with 512 gigs of storage for $1,000, get an iPad mini with 64 gigs, you're still cheaper than a foldable, and you've got a mini ecosystem there, 8.3 yeah. inches. 5.4 inches compact fits in your pocket but also a big display split screen all that jazz yeah it's a butchered affordable arguments i would say when you can buy ipads this good for 500 bucks yeah. do you think the price hike was was justified yeah I, I do honestly so walking into this i even asked uh randy and, and our friend who shall remain nameless um the His name's Mike. Uh, george <laughs> I don't know who George is. But. Randy. Um, 
Yeah, I was like, so what do you guys think it's going to be? You know, like as they were, at the, I think they were wrapping up the uh, iPad 9 or whatever the first one was. I was like, okay, how much is the mini going to be? And we were, I was like, three ninety nine or four ninety nine. I was thinking four ninety nine. They were like, oh no, three ninety nine, three ninety nine. I thought three ninety nine. I was right, four ninety nine. Mm. I honestly am a little sad because that three twenty nine price point has been around for like ages. The first iPad I got was three twenty nine, and well, it's, mini is three ninety nine. Yeah. Oh, it was three ninety nine. Okay. Anyway. It's more expensive now, and I still bought it. Yes, it exceeded my <laughs> it, it exceeded my iPad Mini budget by like two hundred dollars out of the store, but wow, oh well, it's beautiful. I got the cellular, and it was hundred dollars more expensive. So, oh well. You mean the you mean you got the five G? I didn't get five G. I am taking five G. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna call Lewis Rossman and see if we can it. take the five G chip out. <laughs> Nick, <laughs> he'll you, take it. Down. You did get the Starlight. I did get Starlight, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And you're thinking about changing it now to something else? Um, I'm I'm open to suggest- suggestions, I guess. So the thing is, I've never seen Starlight in person, right? From the website, yeah. which we know is famously accurate on their color portrayals. Mini. Exactly. So I'm hoping it's a little bit closer to the 12 Mini's white, which was kind of almost gold. It was like really, mm. really, 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 really light champagne gold. Um, uh-huh. And so if it's a little bit deeper than that, I don't, I love gold and I love white. Like those are my two favorite Apple okay. ecosystem I colors. So I, I love gold. I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be okay with it color wise. Um, but you know, the, the safe one is always the, the space gray, you know, they don't, they don't break that one oh, too sure. frequently, but I already have a space gray iPad. So let's, let's switch some stuff up. There you go. Also Mix for sale, slightly dented, slightly bent, uh, third gen iPad pro hit me up in the DMS because, uh, I gotta, gotta <laughs> fund this somehow. <laughs> So did you think the mini was too expensive, Randy? No. Okay. No. It was just higher than you thought. I, I, I thought the starting price was going to be, for 64 gigs, I thought it was going to be 399 Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, because of the price gap of, or the, the storage gap between 64 gigs and 256, um, mm-hmm. I expected the 256 to be uh, closer to like, uh, Six six fifty. So where it's at right now, but I was thinking there was going to be a, a one twelve or a one twenty eight config, uh, and, oh, and, gotcha. and I thought that was going to be like the five five fifty uh, range. But they are treating the iPad Mini like an iPhone with that gap in the storage and then the upsell. It's like they want you to obviously sixty four is too small. Go up one. Right. Um, yeah. So I. I they are approaching it like an iPhone, so I should have known better. <laughs> and they even gave it Flash. Oh, my goodness. Even Flash. Which the Air does not have. Oh, yeah. yeah. Huh. They gave cool. it everything with the exception of Thunderbolt and uh, ProMotion. Yeah, we don't need Thunderbolt. S- in smart connector, Face I, ID. No, no. no. We're, we're cheating the product as an iPad, Drew. As an iPad. <laughs> We are not talking about accessories, well, the, but if we want to talk about accessories, the budget iPad gets one. Thank God <laughs> yeah. it takes the Gen Two. I am so happy mm-hmm. for that. That's part of the reason why that I'm so happy a with it. Miracle! Like Ugh. I'm, I'm justifying the price bump a little bit just because I get to save a hundred bucks and not get a new Apple Pencil. You know, you get so. to do That's your true. thumbnails and 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 read the chat, or at least when I stream, read the chat. Like it does everything I need it to. And nothing mm-hmm. more because this is an iPad. Um, <laughs> exactly. It's, it's good honestly, point. it's I'm so excited about this because I've accepted iPad's life, what its purpose is. Mm-hmm. So that's why I'm excited for it. Um, iPad Pro, uh, third gen, was my favorite iPad. Promising or believing in a future that we didn't get, you know. But that seems to be the theme for even today. We saw a lot of things we thought we were going to get. That didn't really happen. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, hey. You're right. Hey. You're right. And I think the the mini, you're right, fits that template of what iPad OS is comfortable being. Mm-hmm. Right. Like this this covers all of the maximums of what iPad OS wants to be and not much more. Mm-hmm. So right. the fact that there's no keyboard accessory for it is perfectly fine and justified because it's so comfortable to hold, it's so small that this will be a perfect touch dominant os with the pencil of course snapping right alongside it and uh medical students i could mm. see a ton a ton of people buying i remember talking about that years ago is 
uh, long before the Mini 5 even came out, they were saying that we want a mini iPad with an Apple Pencil because um, we take notes and we put them in our lab coats and, mm. and, you know, we move around with them all the time. When they were stuck with the first-gen Apple Pencil all these all these years. And uh, keep in mind, the Mini 5 was not announced uh, on stage. So this was it the wasn't? first time. Oh, wow. The, no. It was a wow. website refresh in March. Um, right. Wow. Just threw up. Threw up on the site one day with uh, Tim Cook uh, posting a meme on his Twitter account of him using a mini with one hand and the pencil with the other. And he was like, hey, mini has the pencil now. And everyone was like, oh, I thought they were going to kill off the mini. Now the mini is center stage yeah, right up there in front of everybody. And mm -hmm. it's like one of the first things that came out and it knocked it out of the park, I think. So I was... I was hearing what German was saying and what other leakers were saying about how, no, oh, it's going to be an iPad and Mac event later. So I was telling everyone leading into this, like, okay, probably don't expect the iPads. You know, the Mini 6 is coming. It's awesome, but it's probably not today. First things first. Dude. iPads come out. I'm no leaker, <laughs> but man, did I call out. I was like, I think we're going to get iPad. <laughs> we're going to get iPad. At this point, I think just uh, a podcast host or co-host can, can guess a lot better than um, <laughs> a, ouch, leaker can, ouch, ouch. a leaker can give info. Uh, I was ouch. like, because I think on my last, I think on our last podcast, I was like, I think we're gonna get iPad Nine and iPad Mini at this event. You did, yep. And yep. German's like, no, we're not. And then I was like, oh, okay. So guys, sorry, we're not. Oh, we are. I should have trusted German. myself. Sorry, not. Sorry. I should have believed in my yep. lack of sources. I should have believed in my <laughs> intuition. Okay, so this here's is the. Sorry. The biggest thing for me is that I didn't think we would get an iPad mini today. I was me not neither. mentally prepared for it. Me I thought this was just an iPhone and watch and maybe AirPod event. And now the mini six is coming next week. Mm -hmm. yeah. The 24th. Like how quickly that turned around. <laughs> yeah, That's amazing. Too. It's like that we went from no, probably don't expect it to it's coming next week in like mm -hmm. a few hours, which it's, is always mind amazing. blowing. Mm -hmm. My... I love this feeling. It's this like being we surprised. Can, we get, oh, mm -hmm. what, what, what's that like? <laughs> being, Ouch. Being surprised. Here's my issue with iPad mini. It's not an issue with the product. It's an issue with me. Okay. I, from the offset, and I'm being very transparent, this is the first event where I'm walking away not feeling like I actually need to buy anything. Ooh. Get him off the show, Drew. Off the show, I Randy. Leave the show. The There's show. no reason <laughs> for you to join this show, Randy. Watch. Drew, Please. Drew, Drew, we haven't even got to the iPhones yet. And then when we do, then Drew's going to have a hot take. And we're going to get him off the show. This is the Randy and Nick show. Get hey, him wait off. hey, wait a minute. Um, There's nothing... I, I'm like you in one sense, Drew, that there's nothing wrong with this iPad, and it still works. And what's, what's cheaper than selling this and getting an iPad mini... Is not is not spending any more money at all, and this is already paid mm -hmm. off. And and I'm thinking from a price perspective, with the with the elephant in the room MacBook lineup coming soon, um, save money where I can altogether seems to be my takeaway from most things um, mm -hmm. today. And iPad Mini, if I'm being very honest, is I don't know if I'm really in love with any of the colors. So. I would agree with that. I would agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I would say colors were probably the most wacky part of this whole event. <laughs> All the colors were like, uh -huh. What uh -huh. are you trying to be? I thought you were trying to be more like the iPad Air. That would have made more sense with those colors. Or the Ma IMAX with well, the color. That yeah. would have made more sense. I, I agree with the general premise of what you're saying, but I'm not impressed with the iPad Air colors either. I saw those in person, and I was like, oh, that's the blue one? Like I couldn't tell oh, until yeah. I. Oh no, I guess what, I'm, what I, I, I meant, what I meant by I that like, was that oh. there's no continuity with any of it. Oh, you're right. There's very little continuity. There's a there's a space gray iPad Mini, but there is no space gray iPhone. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. It's a graphite or midnight. There is no black. <laughs> right. They got rid of black. Um, I th I will uh, I will uh, defend though that the iPhone 13 fixed red. 
Yes, maybe. it did. Maybe. Red looks maybe. Red looks good. Well, you're right, Nick. Maybe. I shouldn't get ahead of myself. I should. It, Last year was it a disaster. Great. Nick bought his first and only pink phone. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with That's pink. That's true. But when you go to the compare page yep. Yep. for the iPhones, mm-hmm. yep. the, the 13 looks like 10R red. Like if you put the 10R next to the 13, they look the same. Whereas the 12 looks way brighter, way pinkish. Yeah. So I think they fixed the red, but um, midnight just looks like black with a slight blue to it. Uh, the blue looks kind of faded. It's yeah, you're right. All between. these colors. Yeah, there's no continuity. Uh, the blue is an in between 10R <laughs> and 12. Yeah, you're right. There, it's there, there's some. In the there's it's more teal than blue. There uh-huh. is a green hue going on in there with the hold on Did, are we and on this on website is now? pointless uh, well we're just talking we're about on colors, colors. okay yeah, colors on colors. <laughs> good I, I guess wait, wait. no colors uh, in, and in context to it we're talking about yeah. uh, no continuity that's happening we, we're not on iphone yet all right okay well, good because i need i need yet. to ask drew are you getting the ipad mini because so here's uh, here's review, he, yes here's what it is for me okay so reviewing here's what it is for me right the iPad Pro I was really trying to make this my primary computer I had for what mm-hmm. almost two years I had the keyboard I heck I even bought a fourth gen iPad Pro with a terabyte of storage and it was going to be my yes, computer sir. and it made it yes, work sir. for a little while and it was great but then iPad OS sucks and it continues to suck and the people who run <laughs> iPad OS suck and they continue to suck. And so they're just the worst people in the world limiting the best Hi, hardware. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. You <laughs> suck. You suck, great Tim. Great keynote today. Yeah, great keynote. Um, no, it is, it's, it's no probably not the actual engineers typing the code. It's probably whoever's in charge of designing the roadmap. So Craig, basically, of iPadOS and, and that whole team. <laughs> but iPadOS is just like, so limited. No, I, and, and now now I, yeah. don't, I don't even have... I sold my uh, a smart keyboard or magic, whatever the... The, the one that floated, the floating keyboard, whatever that magic one was. Magic keyboard folio magic, case. Magic, magic keyboard folio case, thank you, with a keyboard. That one's magic, not smart. I don't know. Whatever one I had, I can't keep them straight. They it's got too much. It's not a smart keyboard case. <laughs> it's a magic keyboard case. There we go. Anyway, so I've just been rocking just the third gen iPad Pro. And honestly, I don't use this super frequently, but I would use it more if it's a little bit smaller because this is almost 13 mm-hmm. inches it's kind of too big to not use in a laptop mode. And that's something sure. I n- know that I never really did. I never really ever took my other iPads out of their cases out of laptop mm-hmm. mode because they're just big. They're big. And so, you know, I've watched yeah. a few TV shows and stuff on the iPad and whatever, but I don't use it every day. I don't take it to work with me. I don't do, you know, anything around the house with it. It's pretty much just here. And so right. if I can, you know, flip this and turn it into an iPad mini, I'd see myself using an iPad mm-hmm. mini a lot more frequently just because it's a little bit more palmable. And I think that that'll be yeah. a, a good trade. So I'm I'm looking forward to it. I think that this will be a purchase for me. Randy, were you going to get it? Um, I do want to review it, but I want to buy it with the intent of keeping, and I'm not uh-huh. convinced. I don't know what color to get. What did you get, mm. Drew? <laughs> Starlight. Starlight? Oh, you got Starlight too? Oh, I just... Bummer. Well, I feel bad because I basically I was live streaming at the time, and I, for those who don't know, my stream got taken down as I was reacting to it. No way! What? Um, On Twitch or so YouTube? That Nick, it's September. Remember what year it is? I left Twitch months ago. There's no oh. Twitch. <laughs> Hi, Nick. Yeah. Welcome Hi. back to the tech community. Welcome back. <laughs> So, Nick, uh, here's what's been going on since you've this... been gone. <laughs> I've been a Starbase. There's so. no Twitch anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No well, it, it makes sense for the Starbase guy to get Starlight. That's only fair and appropriate. But I was live streaming and playing around with the web page and looking at stuff. And then people were like, the Mini 6 is available to order now. And I was like, really? I thought it was coming like later. I thought I, my brain was all anticipating October launch. And then I go to the Mini 6 page and it's like view pricing and then like, or, no, it just said mm-hmm. order. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wait, it's out now? I was like, oh, crap. So I was like, hold on, everyone. I got to order it. So I put up a poll and I was like, which color should I get? Wh- whichever one was leading in the polls, mm-hmm. I ordered that one. And it was Starlight. So I got Starlight. But. Okay. Um, I would have gotten a different one if I knew you were getting Starlight. Yeah, and we didn't. Um, we didn't have I, any communication. 
That's all right. It's fine. We can just have two of the same. It doesn't matter. Now I'm getting Starlight. Yeah. <laughs> You're falling. Out. All I don't same. want uh I don't want a pink one. Uh I don't really want a purple one. Not that. And purple. I don't want a space gray one. So same. I just kind of default. I want literally a green the... one. Yes. <laughs> we need mint a green. I would have gotten a mint green one. Yeah. I so seen upset. the mint green in person and I just didn't like it cuz it looks silver until you like squint and then you're like Oh, kind of oh, like starlight. <laughs> Yeah, well, Starlight was basically new. I was like, that's a color I don't know much about. Is it gold? Is it silver? I don't know. It's one of it's, it's iPhone between. 12. Uh huh. And funny that they got rid of the gold budget iPad. Yeah, okay. they did, huh? For the why bother? I don't know, but they did. <laughs> it's like they were like, ah, if you're spending this kind of money on an iPad, uh, you don't you, you don't get to try to, to tell someone you don't get to you don't choose. have the gold color. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. Gold is a luxury <laughs> color. Why? Why is there a gold on a budget product? Actually, Ouch. I'm going to double check something Ouch. really quick just to make sure. <gasps> what? I'm right. What? I forgot to bring this up in the video. What? What's happening? The budget iPad killed white bezels. No. Yes. Way. Yes. Yes. What? Yes. No way. White bezels are all gone on the iPad line. We need to stop My the podcast, God, I... Drew. You need to make a whole new video. Oh, he's right. Dude, you iPad totally hardware right. team, He's I right. want to kiss you. The iPad hardware team is amazing. Has it never all of you. Every single last one of you. You built this beautiful Mini 6, and now you were like, so the 24-inch iMac got white bezels, so uh, we're killing white bezels <laughs> on every iPad now. You're not there is wrong. no... Nah, that's okay, good. I'm tweeting this. I'm sorry. Tweet I just it. Can't wait. Do it. That's fine. All, All right. Well, okay. While he tweets, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna talk out loud here. I think I'm gonna get started. Please talk just to... in in your head, Randy. That's better no. for all of our ears, actually. No, I'm gonna do Starlight just to screw with you guys. Okay. But the thing is, I want to <laughs> review it. Um, and I think the best thing to do is to get the 64 gig because what's what's storage configurations anymore? Nobody cares about that <laughs> yeah. blah. I'm going to make thumbnails and yeah. stream things. That's it. I can do 64 mm -hmm. gigs. Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm I've been on 64 gigs for uh same uh 3 years now. Hmm. No, and I haven't filled it. I've never gotten the warning. So even though Apple says on the web page it's like you know, prepare for the future. Yeah, shut Get up. Get more storage if no. you're not a moron. <laughs> no. Wow. That's what it says. No, it says that. Not a moron. Yeah, I'm looking right I'm at it. I'm looking right at it. You're right. He's right. Not a moron. <laughs> I am confirmed. a bit of a I'm not going to lie to you, Joe. I'm a little bit... Ret Never mind. I don't think I can say that word. <laughs> you no, can't say that word. Sorry. So. You can't quote that man on this. On you this literally I mean, can't. What man are we even talking about? Hey, should I add an engraving to it? <laughs> Please don't. No, Some guy who sounds like a frog. Uh, <laughs> and he's turned to frog. <laughs> Where's my chemical water, Randy? I think you took so, my chemical water away. I, I'll just end the subject by saying I love the iPad Mini Six, although I don't, I can't think of a use case where, it, where I end up keeping it. Yeah. Because I'm a diehard 120 hertz fan, hmm. and that's hmm. a pretty important feature to me. As is Face ID. I love the size, but um, if I if I end up getting a MacBook. Um, I'm going to use the iPad as an external monitor alongside it. So I want that to be a big, nice big screen. And I, I do use it for video thumbnails and for FaceTime every day. Maybe it should be my center stage machine. There you I go. just get the iPad mini for the duct podcast Duct tape it recordings. to your wall. Just duct tape it to the wall. <laughs> Not only that, but you also get the comfort of knowing that you are no longer holding your breath for the two-in-one iPad. You really, mm, you really this don't. This is you, so true. Like, it, yep. it, like where I'm going as you don't use the keyboard anymore, right, Drew? You went back to the folio mm -hmm. case. No, I sold it. I sold it. It's physically See? gone. So yeah. you're, 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 you guys, both of you, fine gentlemen, are already at least one to two steps in front of me about all that. I'm sitting here holding on to some fake dream, but now that iPad OS <laughs> has. Uh, 15 has dropped today once i update like that's it 
it, iOS 14 was the last remaining hope for me to think that this was going to be something more. And it's not that I'm holding on to some fake illusion that something's going to change. It's that I just don't know. Like, it, Good on you, Drew. You found a use case for that screen to be a dual display for your MacBook. I don't know if that's how that would work in my life since I'm using uh, you know, a cinema display for my MacBook. I, I, mm-hmm. I want the iPad to not hold any reality distortion over me. And um, I'm happy that I don't suffer what you suffer with promotion. And I can say, <laughs> who cares? Ouch. I, I, I see Ouch. it. I'm I jealous. S- I'm jealous. I, I'm I'm. And I'm happy you're jealous because it makes me feel not crazy. (laughs) I wish I didn't care. When you get Xfinity Internet, Flex is included free. And finding what to watch on TV is now as easy as popcorn. This is a way better way to watch. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today to get a great offer on Internet and add Flex for free. Restrictions apply. You might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage is not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. Fall is the season of gathering that brings us together with warmth and color. So whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a special event, celebrate your friends and family with a gorgeous bouquet of roses from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to brighten someone's day with 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99. To get 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. Dunkin' is putting a whole new spin on pumpkin at Dunkin' with our new pumpkin cream cold brew. Smooth, bold, cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream cold foam made with cinnamon and nutmeg spices. And there's more pumpkin for you to love, like the delicious fall classic, our pumpkin spice signature latte. Rich espresso topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. That's how we pumpkin at Dunkin'. Sip into the fall season with the $3 medium pumpkin cream cold brew or pumpkin spice signature latte. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Exclusion apply. Valid on pumpkin spice signature latte only in all cold foam cold brew. Dunkin' is putting a whole new spin on pumpkin at Dunkin' with our new pumpkin cream cold brew. Smooth, bold, cold brew topped with velvety pumpkin cream cold foam made with cinnamon and nutmeg spices. And there's more pumpkin for you to love, like the delicious fall classic, our pumpkin spice signature latte. Rich espresso topped with whipped cream, caramel drizzle, and cinnamon sugar. That's how we pumpkin at Dunkin'. Sip into the fall season with the $3 medium pumpkin cream cold brew or pumpkin spice signature latte. America runs on Dunkin'. Participation may vary. Limited time offer. Exclusion apply. Valid on pumpkin spice signature latte only in all cold foam cold brew. You did it. You woke up today. You even got out of bed. You deserve a reward. We can't all be morning people, but we can all get McDonald's for breakfast. Right now, mix and match a Chicken McGriddles or a McChicken Biscuit for just 3 bucks. Order ahead on the Mickey D's app. Price and participation may vary. Cannot be combined with combo meal. Single item at regular price. Mobile order and pay at participating McDonald's. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. When you get Xfinity Internet, Flex is included free. And finding what to watch on TV is now as easy as popcorn. Show me my favorites. Yes! Live soccer. This is how easy it is to find my favorite content. All in one place. And for Xfinity Internet customers, it all starts at free with Xfinity Flex. This is a way better way to watch. Learn how to get a great offer on Xfinity Internet. Plus, add a free Flex 4K streaming box. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Restrictions apply. September is the most birthday-packed month of the year. So chances are you have a few celebrations coming up. Make sure your friends and family feel special with a gorgeous bouquet of roses from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to send the perfect gift. 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99. To get 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. Life gets a lot more magical when you dream. So let's dream of a vacation unlike any other. A magical Disney cruise. <laughs> 
How? Where new stories meet tales as old as time. Enchanté, mon ami. And your family will be cared for the moment you step aboard. Sail from Florida to Disney's private island paradise and get ready for a dream come true with Disney Cruise Line. You might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. Life gets more magical when you dream. So dream of a Disney cruise filled with magic and wonder. <laughs> Hiya, pal! Sail from Florida to Disney's private island paradise and get ready for a dream come true with Disney Cruise Line. What you doing? Trying on glasses with Zenny's 3D Virtual Try-On. Wait, are those the actual prices? I say get all of them. Seriously, why not, right? Oh, now I want new glasses. Zenny.com. Quality prescription glasses starting at $6.95. Because if I if I honestly didn't care, I would probably keep a mini six. Yeah, mm-hmm. I I think it's the idea shame. of having updated hardware for FaceTime is more important to me um, than anything else to do with iPad. Especially because you guys, I communicate with you guys regularly. I talk to my family on this. Um, this is the most communicative device that I use over iPhone. iPhone is more texting mm-hmm. and everything else, but when it comes to calls, and when I say calls, I mean FaceTime calls, it's all done on yeah. iPad. And um, mm-hmm. that's, that's, that's a good thing for me. And I, the other hesitance I have is the battery life, but this thing is three years old. It's, it can't be doing me any favors with the battery, but um, I am hesitant about the battery thing too. That does intimidate me, to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what mine's at. I have no clue. <laughs> it's plugged in a lot. So yeah. it can't be good. For 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 using like over or any studio thing with the Apple Pencil and using it for over? like Over? Oh, you're and right. You think what you mean that? studio? Studio. The world's yeah. best app. I um Who needs who needs over when you can go daddy? <laughs> oh my god. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, can we just high five Drew today, everyone in, in, who's watching this? Because he's been on it in his streams. He's been making me laugh like none other. You today, you woke up on Man, a you guys, funny side. You guys should have seen me when the stream got taken down. I was panicking. I was just like, Whoa! generate new key, start, take the stream down, privatize that end stream. I was like, what the and I was listening to the iPad get announced at the same time. I was like, oh, okay, we're back. Hey, Who everyone. took you down? Who took you down? Apple? Apple. Wow. Really? Mm-hmm. It wasn't a strike, though. It was a block. So mm-hmm. no, no claim. Uh, uh, I, I trimmed out that portion of the stream, and now it's, it's public. It's up. It's monetized. There's no, there's no long-term damage. I wanted to see, because this was the first time uh, we had an Apple event since I switched to YouTube, and I was curious. I was like, can I get away with this? The answer is no. Now we know. So, oh, did I you actually showcase again. the stream? Did you show it? I was showing the event this time. Yeah. Oh, you you daring boy, you. <laughs> I was muting it any time it played music, though. I did the same thing not with good the enough. Samsung event. Yeah, not good enough. I, I, I showed the Samsung event on YouTube, and it didn't it didn't hurt anything. But That's uh, because nobody Apple cares about like, Samsung. Hey, are you hyping up our products? Stop that. <laughs> Ban. You know, Tim is relying on the watch time their YouTube stream generates to pay right. for his <laughs> vacation home. So he's uh, like, we can't have people restreaming this stuff. It's not allowed. That makes sense. I'm just grateful. I, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just thankful it wasn't a strike. Thank you. Yeah, yeah for sure. Message received. I'll, I'll take the message. I got it. Understood. So, did you, did you guys um, notice when they were introducing the iPad Mini 6 and the, uh, I don't know, I guess just the iPad Mini 6, they didn't mention what processor it had. They just said, yeah. and it's 30% faster and 80% faster. That and annoyed me. I didn't I like know. that. Well, I knew instantly weird. that it, was, it had the A15 chip, but they didn't want to say A15 chip on the 12 Mini. Or the, mm. 12 mini. They wanted to say for, iPad say mini for the iPhone. 
Yeah. The reason that makes no sense to me is they announced the A14 with the Air last year, which was in which was a whole month before the iPhones came out and they announced the A14 there. Also, yeah. they didn't announce the chip of the Series 7 at all. And they still haven't they didn't huh. save that for later. Huh. They just didn't bring it up. They they said like Faster charge times, but if if you go to the watch page on the website, there's no tech specs you can go to. There's no S- configurator. It's Series not. There, seven there's no. Gave us nothing new. That's not true. What's twenty percent more screen area no, than Series no, Six? No, that is not what I'm saying. I'm talking features. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't gonna give you. <laughs> that. Was there any yeah, rumor? Yeah, but we thought we thought something was gonna happen. I thought. No, I thought it would just be a design upgrade and nothing else. That's, and we didn't that's what even I was get expecting. that. <laughs> well, I got part of it. We got the big screen jump, but we didn't get the squared off edge because everyone is wrong. How does how does it feel <laughs> to? Th- I I, I, can, I want to talk from an outside perspective really quickly. I saw Nick. Okay. I saw his heart break right in yes. front of me. Literally broke and in two pieces. <laughs> I had to go Nick, to the doctors. <laughs> Nick was so jazzed with iPad, and he's like, oh, my God, I'm doing it. It's right there. It's beautiful. Now, here is Series 7. Oh, here it goes. Wait, it's it's wrapped. And immediately, his whole demeanor for the rest of the keynote was mm-hmm. just like somebody just killed his puppy. Yep, and, that's, and I'm still feeling you that You guys way. really hate it, don't you? I really do. No, I do not. I, I literally hate it. So man, so this is what it feels like. It's good to be back on Apple side again. I am. It's refreshing. I've been help me, Drew, because I've been fighting with Nick since then. I've been trying to let him see the light. I'm so, like, Nick, when I when the iMac 24 inch iMac came out, mm-hmm. how you feel now? Mm-hmm. That's how I was feeling. Ah, okay. okay, good to know. It's a mutual understanding. Good. I, I now understand what you're feeling. I wish I wasn't understanding right. it, but now I know. <laughs> Now we know. We so, want you to sit okay. in it, Nick. <laughs> yeah. Let me, let me quickly explain why I have these feelings, and then Randy and Go Drew ahead. can try to convince me otherwise. Um, okay. okay. I listened to the dang <laughs> leakers again. <laughs> I listened to the dang like, leakers me, <laughs> every single like, event. Every single event. Like, I'm always the one. The one who says, no, MacBooks are not going to come out at Dub Dub. I'm going to buy a MacBook the week before just to prove my point. Didn't happen. I was You're right. right. I listened to the dang leakers this time. Never, ever, ever listen to the freaking <laughs> leakers. They don't know what they're talking about. And I got way too excited for this Apple Watch. And unfortunately, I'm not getting the Apple Watch Series 7 whenever it comes out because my Series 4 gets me through exactly what I need it to. And if I'm going to be completely honest, if I'm going to drop another eight, 900 bucks on a stainless steel app, Apple Watch, I want it yeah. to be the new design so that I will feel like it will last for another four years at this point. Like the Series 4 okay. is lasting me till the Series 8 at least, if not longer. So good trade on the Series 4, I guess. And I want to make sure that my next watch will also last that long visually. So it's just so mm-hmm. sad because like literally Apple could have had anywhere between 800 and 1100 of my dollars today. They literally could have. <laughs> but Tim Cook didn't want it. So... <laughs> That's on you. But yeah. Come now, um, doctor. No time for well, let me, panic. That okay. comes later. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great movie. I love that movie. I I want to know what would have gotten you to sell is it just the squared off chassis and literally that's it, or just the feature? squared off chassis and i was looking okay. forward to getting that's the it. uh uh always well, this, on display this should be interesting go ahead it's gonna be a long freaking podcast okay <laughs> um do it do it <laughs> there is we're gonna take like two hours to talk about a one hour podcast um i'm we'll sorry two time. hours to talk about a one hour presentation that's what i meant to say um it felt like a podcast <laughs> so your main reason was to buy a watch that would look like the latest watch for no. a long time, right? Yeah, yeah, sure, for a long time. So I believe that would be a squared yeah. one. So okay. That's what I was looking for. So it, are you under the thought process that a squared one is coming next year? I would assume and so. And this is just not or the year? Or the year after that or the year after Nick, that. At some point, did you hear what you 
Did you hear what you just said a couple minutes ago about not believing the leaks? Mm. <laughs> Don't mm. trust in the leakers. I'm under the belief, I could be wrong now. I've been wrong, but I've also been bizarrely right when I shouldn't have been. This is true. I don't think they're ever going to take the watch in the square direction now. I think this was the year to do it, and they didn't. And now especially that they're flexing that the, the pixels are falling over the edge. Like you can see the screen from a perpendicular angle. I think this is what Apple Watches are going to look like for the okay. foreseeable future. I think for the next four to five years, we're not getting squared off. I think this is the new screen size. Um, this is the redesign. It's it's not the redesign we were expecting, but it's the one... We deserve. We deserve. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I still don't know how I feel about this. I'm, I'm trying to digest the news because I was worried this Series 7 would look different and it would match my ecosystem and it would make me want to ditch my six which i mm -hmm. normally wouldn't because it's not that old and i just got it a year ago and now it's like well the series seven doesn't match my ecosystem so that argument falls apart now because it's still rounded off but it still made my six look old and dated mm -hmm. and i hate it so how do i interpret this <sighs> okay may what i Oh, go ahead, Randy. Go ahead. May I? <laughs> you, 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 I saw Nick's little brain go when you said, you just said this a few minutes ago, don't trust the leakers. <laughs> it was Apple's intent. It, no, not, I'm not even saying past tense. Uh, it is Apple's mission with Apple Watch to give you the most elegant design possible. And what Drew had said for years... I mean, one thing, uh, Drew has been consistent on this. Having, like, a certain, Not much, but this. But this, yeah. he's been, Oh, like, this is the one thing where it's like, there's nothing but <laughs> continuity. Um, uh -huh. Drew always said the circular design is, a, is, a, is a, the wrong design approach for data to be presented on the screen. And, not on my watch. Not on my watch. <laughs> and uh, the, the rounded design was meant to form its better form factor to your body than than a squared off design. He had said that the moment mm. we all three of us sat around a very same room like this and we said after we saw iPad in 2018 iPad Pro and we said, "Can you imagine iPhones doing this?" Oh, and then the Apple Watch. And we sat there and was like, "We want that." And in 2018, we then realized that like that would not be comfortable on the on the wrist. That would hmm. actually. I think it would. It, the design. I think look, it would. Look at your watch band. The watch band slit where it will slide to clip would have to change for for it to even fit on a square chassis because it's curved down. I don't think it'd be uncomfortable if though. you went because it's it's sitting on the puck. It's sitting on the glass. But if you now change the, the thing to where it's a flat design. All that extra space. What are you? What are you trying to fill it with? Bat battery? Is that what we're trying to change? Because it's not not just screen resolution. That already got resolved with Series Seven right now. We, what you're trying to do inside the internally is rearrange the structure of it. You're gonna run out of more new space for the watch band to actually clip in without maybe doing a whole redesign on the watch band itself. And it might look different, but looking different just to be different isn't good enough for Apple. It has to have a certain functionality to it, which is why I was kind of hoping something functional was going to happen with Series 7, and it didn't. Okay, fine. But <laughs> with the screen itself, it, they still achieved the screen goal of what they're trying to do, which was to push it even further out. It was higher than it was higher than leaked, actually. The, the rumor was 16% larger, and now it's 20. So it's much larger than anticipated. Every part of the leaks were wrong. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's amazing. Really? Yeah. I love... I'm sad that Nick's disappointed because I thought he'd be really happy to be like, everyone's wrong again. I, love I am. I am very it's happy actually, that everyone's wrong, but I am even more upset than I am happy that I listened to them. Why do we listen to these random idiots on the internet who have 
little to no more information than we do I and believe feel, that what they say uh, is gospel when they get it wrong. Apple love, event after okay. Apple event after Apple event. And I get way too excited. <laughs> and then when the Apple event actually comes, I'm not excited about what they introduce. I'm disappointed because I got I, way I too mean, excited before. And now I'm upset and I'm mad at you, specifically Mr. You-Know-Who. Dang you! <laughs> I mean, they got the color green. It was just the wrong shade of green, but <laughs> I couldn't be I happier. <laughs> Nick's upset with the color options mostly. But That's exactly yeah. what I was yeah. upset about. Mr. Um, you know who. I, was he Voldemort? I he who shall not be named? <laughs> Literally, he I shall love, not be named. <laughs> I love thinking in my head of all the potential things that went wrong for this to happen. For one... It's either people guessing and making wild assumptions based on others' guesses and saying, Apple will probably do this, therefore I will treat it as a leak, and that way it looks like I have sources when the product does launch. Or, my more fun but less probable scenario, Apple is sending out fake leaks to weed out the un unloyal and finding out who is is revealing info. So they probably told a bunch of higher up people at Apple, here's the squared off design, we wanted to match the 12, and then it shows up everywhere and that's what everyone's expecting and then Apple's like, fuck that, we're not doing that. Yeah. And square uh, rounded stays around, displays bigger, designs upgraded and all, but um, they, they got it past suppliers, they got it past Bloomberg, they got it past John, they got it past Ian, they got it past everybody. German, and they're like, yeah, no, we we still we still want to have some surprises that people think are unexpected. I, I mean, I'll give them the points for unexpected. Likely, yeah, very. <laughs> it, this is the Ryan Johnson of Apple watches. Yeah, and I happen to like this one. It's his Looper, and <laughs> I think I, I like <laughs> Looper. That's a good yeah, one. Yeah, exactly. That's a good one. It's a Ryan Johnson movie that was good. Yeah, uh, unlike <clears throat> another film. Yes, a very sad. So Avengers um, Endgame. <laughs> I, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking. Um, I was talking about how this doesn't feel like a conspiracy tinfoil hat moment anymore. I think what you're saying, Drew, is exactly that. That that Apple it has been. They're trying to take control of leaks, and they have been purposely mislead. This isn't the first time we heard misinformation like this before. And I don't actually think that's it, but it's it's a good theory. You, you I, if. I think it's baloney. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to Do say. Do you think everyone's just think in a room, you know, circle jerking each other, saying, like, here's what it is, and then I'm going to add on top of that, <laughs> add on top of that, add on top of that, uh, or somebody... Cause I think a bunch of people watched my video. I'll take responsibility here. <laughs> I think a bunch of people... It's not. This is not it. I'm just playing it up for the podcast here. Do but, it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Uh, I did a video a long time ago called The Case for a Squared Off Apple Watch. That's it? Where I basically explained as to why it makes sense and why it wouldn't be as ugly as people think and that it wouldn't be uncomfortable and that it could be done in a way where the connectors still work. And I explained this This would be great and this is maybe where the Apple Watch has to go because there's nowhere else for them to go feature-wise. Like that. This is the only direction. Yeah. And a bunch of people watched that and went... Huh. That that makes sense. I think Apple will do that. Let's claim that it Apple is going to happen. That Apple sheep is onto something. <laughs> They're like, let's let's claim we have a source, and that video is the sole reason Nick is upset right now. That's it. That's the end. That's where all it all the people stemmed who from. Don't know who you are. They're like, hey, that that explosive tech guy is onto something. We should do something yeah. with that. To avoid drama, I'm not saying the YouTubers themselves are doing it. I'm saying whoever their sources are, or their alleged sources who may not be sources at all. At this point, I think all of the leakers who have been proven wrong should be second guessing who their sources were at this point. Like, and like we whether should not be second were... guessing them too, because they put their credibility yeah, on the line. Everyone should here. be. We should be third and fourth guessing mm -hmm. at this point. And these guys got things so wrong that they need to be either assuming. Apple fooled them intentionally, or you are being trolled. Someone is reaching out to you, telling you stuff that you think sounds real and think sounds legit, so you believe it and run with it, and it just ends up being flat out wrong because they weren't really a source in the first place. There was some guy in Spain. <laughs> Don't you talk about Nikias like that? No, not Nikia. No, I was talking about uh, what's his face. No, that, that that's a joke. He's not even in Spain. <laughs> The yes, guy who doxed his uh, <laughs> the guy who doxed his IP, 
when he said that he was at the Apple event as they were filming it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that, that guy. <laughs> he was like, no, I'm there. They're filming right now. Phil hey, Schiller's here. Then the next day, guys, Phil retired. I was there in San Diego when they were filming the San Diego bit with iPhone 13. Of I course. Was, right. I was right there. You, you guys thought we were joking about the La Mesa thing? We were there. We <laughs> Randy were, filmed it. He was yeah. the cameraman. Yeah. He, yeah, absolutely. The, uh, they hired me. <laughs> bless you, Nick. Yeah, I, I used this drone and we just went to work. So, uh, to to come all the way back to the watch subject, my my opinions are conflicted because the main reason I was worried about the seven was not delivered on, but I love that. I love it. I think it looks amazing. Okay. I think, furthermore, I, Drew, I love the look. Are you going to sell your Series Six? Ooh. <laughs> That's the question. I don't know. I'm, that's why. That's why you guys are here. Oh, I, I but, need. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Is this the Apple Sheep support group meeting? Okay. This is the. I love the display, and I believe that this is going to be the future of Apple Watch design for the foreseeable future. I, like, do you guys disagree? That do you think they will go squared off eventually, and it just wasn't this year? I... Maybe. Maybe it's just me enjoying the concept render so much that like, mm. I really want it. I really want the squared off design. Cause, Again, ever since 2018, I've been saying this. Give me a squared off iPad, man. Give me a squared off iPhone. Yeah. Give me a squared off iPad. Give me a squared off MacBook. Like, I love that, like, square, but, like, itsy bitsy radius just to make it a much mm, very, very like, nice design. Much like what we talked about earlier this week in regards to iPhone 14 leaks, I just don't care. <laughs> wait, yeah, fair. wait, wait, wait so what I mean is. Just like Marquez. Wait, so, oh, yeah. Well, I said it before, he was cool. But yes, like Marquez. Yeah, no. But, no, he's like, I don't care. Yeah, right. He's like, ah, you guys want to talk about the embargo date? I don't care. I got paid That's what, <laughs> all the same. <laughs> Marquez is, I was like, why would he care? He has all this stuff already. Yeah, like, he's wait. whatever. You, oh, you know my <laughs> dates? Whatever. Um, no, but I, I'm like, it's like, with iPhone 14, it can look exactly so retro. It can look like the original iPhone modernized, and I just wouldn't care because that's that's not what's selling me on on the next iPhone. Likewise, mm -hmm. whatever the Series 7 was supposed to be, which I say is this, Series 8, Series yeah. 9, I don't care. What I care <laughs> is having a watch that gets me through the day, and this is dying, and that's the only thing I well, care yeah. about. So yeah. I told you guys, and, I, and, I, and I'm still adamant by it, I was going to upgrade regardless. I need to. It's a point of necessity. Um, you did not care about the design or anything. I, I didn't care. I, I, I'm already, I already won because now I get all these new features over the last three years that I didn't have with Series 4. So I'm already getting mm -hmm. a brand new watch. Plus, I'm now getting an even bigger screen real estate, which is a win in my book. I, I, I went for, I've, statistically, I've always upgraded to the new design, quote, new, if you want to call Series 7 new, um, I went from zero to four. I had nothing in between. I'm going four to seven, nothing in between. And each time I've upgraded, it was that much more rewarding because I didn't do annual upgrades with Apple Watch. And it's, I'm getting all these new features, whether it's the blood oxygen, whether it's the always on, whether it's compass. <laughs> what, you know, the, the fact <laughs> of having it crucial. there. Crucial. Compass. But, guys, we're missing the biggest point. There's that midnight green again. I Ooh. won. Oh yeah, I you would have drew. Even drew, if they can went I back? Can I share a prediction <laughs> with you, Drew? This is my prediction like for Randy this year. We're all having separate. We're having separate conversations by ourselves. Right now. <laughs> I love this together, <laughs> Drew. My prediction is that Randy is going to go back to his green 11 Pro and get a green Apple Watch Series Seven and just live in the rounded off green Ooh. ecosystem. Ooh, wow. That's my You're prediction. making my mind wander. Can you imagine the, the thin bezels of the Series 7, but on an 11 Pro <laughs> size? We'll talk about my, uh, Nick's prediction once we get through iPhone next, because I've been oh, purposely holding okay. off on oh, what we're going to do Okay. Just okay, like okay. the Apple event, I did that way too early. We're, almo we're almost an hour in, and we haven't got to the iPhone. I know, yet. dude. This is going to oh, be a long God. podcast. Good thing I cleared uh, my schedule okay. for the next hour. <laughs> yeah. The, oh shoot! Got a roll okay. out to go catch. Um, yeah, I I think obviously even if it had fatter bezels than before and it was objectively worse, you would have bought the green watch that Ooh. fits you so well. 
it's so perfect. You're not, you're not wrong, but I, <laughs> I, I do. I am. There is vanity in my decisions, and I do mm-hmm. care about aesthetics a lot because watch is so personalized in that sense. Um, yes. But I think the, I think that regardless of the green or not green, having the bigger screen and now having a QWERTY keyboard in the in the watch OS is an indication of Apple really pushing pushing uh, Apple Watch to its limits mm-hmm. on what you could do on such a small footprint. And I'm kind of excited about that. That doesn't mean I'm expecting Face ID or not Face ID, but uh, FaceTime or anything like that. But uh, it makes me think about what other apps are going to start utilizing more iPhone features that could be there, whether it's more interactive widgets that you could do within those apps itself. And specifically mm-hmm. when I get text messages or if I want to take a phone call, um, can I do more functionality besides, hey, what's up? Okay, let me cut. Yep, I'm on watch talking set and just hang up. Um, it's kind of exciting. And to mm-hmm. go back, I did not forget, Drew. I know we're having three separate conversations, but my roundabout, my, my <laughs> roundabout here is for you. I think you should get the Series 7 because okay. you are refreshing your lineup regardless. You are refreshing mm. everything in 2021 at, in some way, shape, or form. Most likely, iPhone is the given, but we'll get to that in a second. App, uh, iPad may very well might just happen for you. MacBook may very well happen for you. Things in 2021 seems to be the proper three to four year increment. We normally look at some things where it's everything gets a clean slate refresh. And I think if you're mm-hmm. going to go into this next generation for the next couple of years of what we're having with with the Apple ecosystem, I think you should not do yourself any injustices and give yourself a clean lineup then if you can find yourself in a, in a comfortable range to s- sell the Series 6 because that's the deciding factor, make that happen, mm-hmm. give yourself a whole brand new lineup on, and say, here's how well my products held up from 2021 whenever the time comes and you want to look at it. So you could be like, I had it all. I gave myself the clean lineup from iPad, Mac, mm-hmm. iPhone, and watch. Those are the four most important ones that we use the most. And for you, mm-hmm. it would just fit better for you long-term. I'm not thinking designs and what's going to be cool next year. I'm thinking three, four years now, now you can be like, here's how this, lo- here was the Apple of 2021, and here's how it treated me, and here's my takeaways from that. I think it's, I think it's a better fit for you, specifically. That's my thought. Hmm. Okay, fair. That's a good point. I didn't consider that. You're Upgrading welcome. everything that, at once. <laughs> um, I guess, I similar to the Series 4, I don't want to buy a new watch every year. The only reason I got rid of the 4 was because I got a good deal on uh, the four, so I could get to the six without having to really spend anything. It so is what it, it is. was a side. Yeah, I wasn't even really a, a paying money for it. If anything, I made money off it. But um, I don't. Whatever the next watch is, I want it to be a long term. I, I don't mm-hmm. want to buy this for another year and then buy next year. So I, I guess I'm. Thank you. I'm concerned if I buy a seven that when the eight comes out, maybe that's squared off and that fits with the rest of the ecosystem way better. But I guess that's the internal debate I'm having is do we think a design change would come next year or the year after or leakers? No, the answer is no no to that question every day. And Drew, I think the design will stay the same. I'm not even saying take into account leakers. I'm just saying your own personal prediction. My my personal, if if, if, if I could be CEO of Apple for a year or, you know, how long it takes to get an Apple watch to market, uh, it would be flat instantly. Like, (laughs) <laughs> iPad, iPad Pro, third gen and above, iPad Mini Six, like just mm, beautiful, everything beautiful. I want that. But mm-hmm. the more you talk through, the more I'm now becoming convinced that it's probably not going to change. And this was the year for them to do that. Um, screen changes are rare. Yeah, right? screen changes. Like literally, we've only had one other screen change in Apple Watch's history. Yeah. Literally right. once, and we're on series almost. This eight. is the second like, time. We're almost. Yeah. You know, we're over a half a decade into this. You know, we, right. we've been doing this for a while. And that's this is, definitely one way to look at it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> hey. Right. Yeah, that's yeah. true. That's it's been true. a while Six since years. 2015. Six yeah. years of watches. We've had two dis- uh, screen changes. So if yep. there's one this year, the likelihood of there being another one next year, yeah. or or a chassis change, they kind of go hand in hand. Just. just Sorry, just look at like the list of things we've been waiting for Apple Watch. The uh, blood glucose monitoring, 
the squared off design, <laughs> mini LED. That was rumored in like 2017. Literally, I know, right? Like we've been waiting around yeah. for so long for these features. Apple's like, okay, they probably have like a list of 10 things on a whiteboard. <laughs> okay. They, they got like a list. They got a yeah, list okay, of like Nick. 10 features in a whiteboard at Apple Park somewhere. And they're literally like, okay, so each one of these features, after we get through this list of features, we're going to have nothing for the Apple. Like, Literally nothing. So we better save each one of these features for a whole year. And they just give every single one of these features their entire year to shine. So I Series 8 will be the the health sensor year then. Maybe. Probably. You know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. There's a German, <laughs> very reliable leaker. Very reliable. Uh, <laughs> was, tell, <laughs> was telling us... Uh, you know, this the Series 8 would get uh, a oh. blood temperature and glucose monitor, and they would have all that stuff ready. But it's like... Basically, I don't want to buy the year before, especially because this isn't launching in in September. This is going to be a later in the year. Later model, this fall, which December thirty eighth is probably only going to be around for ten months or so. Um, yeah, that's what we thought yeah, about iPhone true. twelve too. That's true. Which was true. That's true. Was. We're here. Here we are. Sip. 13's out. iPhone twelve. Uh, still here. Twelve Pro and twelve Pro Max. We're gone in twelve months. Okay, the pros are gone. Yeah. The regulars are here. So that's a good that's would, a good segue. Would, before we do that, I just want to conclude one thing about trying to convince Nick. One more thing. One, one more, thing. more thing. Nick, with yes. the flat design, mm-hmm. Apple would not be able to achieve what they what they were able to achieve with Series Seven now, and that's because if the if the screen is elevated. I do above, I do like that. That is that is one of the it things. It leads over. It, mm-hmm. There's no bezel now like that. Mm-hmm. I don't mean to brag, but I did a video on that very subject years ago. I'm going to find it now. Brag, yep. brag away, do, brag it. I do think it's cool. L- hold on. It i got to know what over. to search. See, now it makes more sense on an Apple Watch than it did on a Samsung Galaxy 7 Edge or whatever they call yeah, it. Yeah, because you set that off all the time right. on accident. Here, it, it, now all that information, it curves over. It, it, it gives you – imagine having full wallpaper that just eats up your whole screen like that. Mm-hmm. You couldn't have uh-huh. that with the flat design. Mm-mm. <laughs> That's true. Mm-hmm. For if they went to the squared chassis, they couldn't. They couldn't flex that feature. Now you at can all. actually look at your so. data and your information from a side profile and be like, "Look at that!" And you could still. That's what I was imagining. I was like, "If if you don't even have to tilt the wrist, you could just look down and, and see." It's cool. Something. The even with, the, even the with an always on display for those who like it. I know you're not a fan of it, Drew. Um, I've never used it, so I don't have a thought. Um, Next. I don't hate it. I just don't use it. Yeah. I, I've talked to people who love it, and they're like, dude, now I can look at these photos. And so, you know, they, they, they want, like you, Drew, they have a wallpaper of their loved ones with the time. And they're like, this is great. And, and they just they, they feel so, you know, warm and loved looking at this stuff. And it, it makes it's a feel good thing. Um, so I think I think the, the curved corners and in, in pushing the, it to the point where it can bleed over. We couldn't have that with the flat design. And I like that. And and I like green. So, you know. Take it from what it is. <laughs> okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done with the Apple Watch. We could talk about whatever when you guys are ready. I'm good. Have you have um, you made your piece on it, Nick? You have any? I'm. Anything else? I don't know. I'm starting to reconsider, Drew. Thankfully, it's not anything soon. Yes. It, you know, still we got we, we got till sometime this fall. So I, I don't know. Him. We'll, we'll see. He was disappointed. I, I no, I am him. still I am still disappointed. But I'm now to the point where maybe I'll <laughs> give it a try. I'm like instead of I'm absolutely hating <laughs> it. I'm like yeah. Like, this was a me this problem. This was not an Apple problem. Like at the end of the day, this wasn't this Apple doing a bad product. It was me getting way too excited about a potential product. So, and, oh well. I, and my goal my is to convince you that this is better than what was rumored. My goal, for as now Randy, on, as Randy's discussing it, it's actually making me think like, this is this might be better than a square. So dollar. here's so yeah. here's why. Because it's my goal to convince you guys to never weigh on leaks again. Just I yep. feel like we this were going to be the Anti so Leak podcast. Of, it, it just now that whole <laughs> destroy ex- leak. No, expe- it's the expectation that robbed us of, of a certain feeling. And I and you know I I saw I saw John tweet where he was like, wait, what? Like I believe that like and so many other people too following it that I think everybody felt just a little robbed and. My takeaway from that, I'm not blaming the people who are reporting it, whether it's Prosser, German, or any, I'm not blaming any of those people. I am now just kind of blaming the the infrastructure itself that's been established. That this is this is we deserved 
that gut punch feeling we feel where we're mm-hmm. like, wow. Because this is what we get for going off of anything that's not official. And it, mm. it's we're, we're all a little guilty of it, and we all get a little excited. But now I feel like this could be our reality check, the, the jumping in the cold water to be like, okay, you can only work off of the information you have provided now. And what I say now, this is the best Apple Watch we could have ever been given. It's It has everything. Mm. All it did is re- refine what it already perfected even more with a better screen. So... I mm-hmm. haven't even thought about looking at the batteries. I don't even know if the batteries have been improved, but I'm assuming the battery's also an improvement. And if it's not, then so be it. It's still perfected on what we have now. So with Apple Watch, with iPad, with iPhone, and with anything else going forward, it, mm-hmm. I have to tr- take it at face value because that's all I can do, that what we have now is the best that we can work off of. And it tampers all expectation, and we can be okay with the decisions that we make. Big picture, Drew, you don't care what next year's iPhone is going to look like. Your mind has changed now. Why should that be only exclusive to iPhone? Why should you punish yourself about any other product when you when you have a clear vision about your iPhone? You should not punish your, reward yourself with the same, you know, like, all right, this is this is why I care about iPhone. And find your same thing with with Apple Watch. And if it is a different design, then, you know, God bless you, man. I hope you get I hope you get what you're looking for. But going off of the information we have and how long Apple Watch has been around, this is the best design we could have ever gotten for everything that Apple Watch is. And I, it is I gorgeous. I can't wait to get my hands on it and be rewarded with my patience with green. <laughs> it's all about green for me, guys. I can't That's be it. mad. I can't. Be- <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't be mad at it. It looked too beautiful. I was like, well, it's not what I thought, but oh my God, look at it. Holy crap. Yeah. Those bezels are thin. Never seen bezels that thin. Yeah. It's amazing. I so I mm. If we wait, what are yeah. you waiting for? What the, it's it's the it's the paradox of when is it a good time to update at this point? You could be waiting forever. We say that all the time for everybody That's else true. When, when they say Drew, should I update and we see that all the time and and they have always asked us too, should I wait or should I upgrade? What what does that paradox entail to you then? Mm-hmm. When is it a good time to update? There, when's the best time to plant a tree 20 years ago? The second time is now? Like, when's a good time? <laughs> yeah. You can only go off. Best time the- to invest. Yeah. yeah. So I treat treat that with your purchasing decisions. People don't wait. And you know why? I, I feel the conviction I feel because I did this with Tesla, with my Model 3. We could wait mm. and get the later and greater, and I could have. But at what point are you diminishing returns on your waiting? I'm not getting any younger. Right. I'm not getting that time back. For what? So I can mm-hmm. get USB-C? It's, it's, at this point, it's like... I, this is time I can't get back, and I don't want to wait another year to maybe get a cooler design and watch my watch die just because of something I hope to see. So, You're right. I mean, there's people already mm-hmm. saying, like, oh, Squared Off must be coming next year. But, like, looking at the Series 7 page right now, they are very proud of that, that spillover thing. And they should like, be. It's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah, they are yeah. like, That's the pretty subtle impressive. wraparound is created by refracted light at the edge of the display mm. for a seamless integ- I was like, mm. yeah, that would all fall apart if you did square. So, yeah. 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 I don't So, it's kind of hard to visualize at this point. They're like leaning into it practically at this point. Literally leaning off the edge. Yeah. Oh. They're leaning they're, Especially with those new face uh watch faces, like the how the numbers are put to the very yeah. end. Those are cool. Yeah. Those are really kind of cool, bubbly. guys. <laughs> I lo- I want to yeah. try it. I want to see it. All right. So we uh, talked about I think that iPads it. and Apple Watches for an hour it. and 10 minutes. So I think we're done <laughs> for the, the day. That's the whole event, right? Thanks, guys. Did they announce Bye. everything else? Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Oh, but wait. Three, two, one. We have no. one, <laughs> one more. One more thing. Oh, yeah. They made these little iPad looking things. Whoops. Oh, yeah. No, they're <laughs> iPad mini, mini <laughs> Macs. These little, they made, they made <laughs> iPad uh, Nano iPad Nano. <laughs> <laughs> Nano. <laughs> With cellular options. This iPad I'm actually Nano. very curious about... I, I think I know what phone Nick is getting. Okay. The answer will surprise you. Okay. Oh, no. Randy. Now I don't know. No, no, no. No, no, go ahead, Drew. Are you being sarcastic? No, no, let's go around. Let's let's all make predictions for each other. Maybe this will be more fun. Well, I was going to say 13 Pro Max until you responded like that okay 13 pro, uh, now let me make my prediction for drew 13 pro max yep and let um, me make my prediction correct. for randy 13 i mean 11 pro that was your prediction that and was my fair, prediction no, my my, pr- 
My prediction for Randy is uh, 13 mini. Ooh. Ooh. Because Ooh. Randy's big upgrading feature that this Ooh. was all riding Ooh. on was uh, portrait mode video, which we've got in the form of cinematic mode. Ooh. I don't know about you guys, but that blew me out of the water. Okay. I thought it was game changing. The, yeah. the footage, I was like, what? Yeah. That's from an iPhone, like the rack focus shots and the little skit they filmed, I was like, it looks so good, and it will track with the person as they get closer. And I was and just, you can I was edit blown it away. And post. You can That's what it. got post, me. You can change. Fix it in post was what got me on that feature. Oh, I don't like. Were you guys as shocked by that as as me? It was very impressive. Um, it was not what I was expecting, but in a good way. Um, mm. That, I that, think they streamlined it. Like they found a way to give the cinematic look without being overly complicated and analytical with like millimeters and, and a focus ring or anything. And they were like, no, the software does all that for it. it can detect when someone looks away. Yeah. I was like, this is such an Apple approach yeah. right now. They're, I okay. love it. So Nick, you go first. Okay. So the iPhone that I'm currently eyeing. Is the iPhone 12 mini? No. Um, is the iPhone 13 Pro Max uh, 256 silver? Okay. Um, I said the answer will surprise mm. you because I originally said 512 or a terabyte, and we're only doing 256. I, oh, I'm i sorry. Okay. I was thinking that they were going to remove the 256 price point and stick 512 oh, in high. that slot. Yeah, it's just like I'm not going to spend $1,600 on a terabyte iPhone before tax i'm sorry you're not That's, the nick i knew i know i'm not i'm much more frugal <laughs> and a little not bit more guy. uh tan you're not that guy Trust yeah me. so right. 256 is what i'm leaning to because i have 128 right now and i did fill it up but now that i have mm. more consistent internet access and <laughs> not trying to run a whole i'm life off of a phone i'm also considering 256 Ooh. but for a different reason Ooh. oh you want oh you want 4k pro res at 30 huh yeah okay all right so uh well let's what it was what was our prediction for drew uh yeah you're right iphone the 12 pro, pro max. max i just don't know which color i don't like these Sierra colors blue suck. looks D totally 100 <laughs> percent agree with you there these colors <laughs> suck <laughs> we were where were all those matte black pictures coming from i saw like five of them again the leakers trust the leaks drew Trust no one. Trust hate no everything. One. I, I am hate Rizarc everyone Fox. for making me think. Apple Lab, what the heck is wrong with you? Why did you tweet all these matte black iPhone pictures everywhere that looked so real? There were even case manufacturers mm -hmm. like an hour before the mm -hmm. event not, putting matte black options. Mm -hmm. Not Ugh. even a single orange or gold bronze that they were talking oh, to. Oh, yeah. None of that. That was just a lie. Straight up so that lie. Was a lie. That was yeah. a lie. So I don't know. But hey, Sierra that. Blue. I'm, I have a feeling like, like Sierra Blue looks kind of cool, but I don't believe it looks like that in person. Thank you. Thank you yeah. for coming to my TED Talk. I think it looks way cooler in the, on the website than it actually Where will, have we which seen why... this letdown before? <laughs> Last year. Not, not year even that. a year ago. Yeah, not <laughs> I bet. <laughs> I bet it's 11 still months ago. as fingerprint attractive, too, with the stainless steel. Yep. I bet. I agree. That's still probably my biggest annoyance with the design, but I'm more excited for the camera. But uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll dive into the camera, I guess, here. So, Randy, what yeah. are you eyeing? If, if you got your, your primary feature you were hoping so much for... Better than we expected. It's available on any size. Yes, sir. You yeah. don't have to get LiDAR. Hey, listen. I do have one. Before I tell you what I'm eyeing, I have one question that I did not understand from the keynote. <laughs> I hope you know, Drew. Was Who is there, champ? Was there? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to solve the case and I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I, it was I the butler. It out. So, um, Who is champ? <laughs> Was there something proprietary with the pro uh, camera that let you do something in their – besides ProRes, were they offering something that was proprietary with the videography when they said, now here's this whole thing, including the behind-the-scenes shot on iPhone 13 Pro? 
when they did all that, are they saying there was something proprietary happening with the either the, the, the color index or whatever was happening with its um, dark night mode or, or uh, apertures and stuff like that? Were we seeing something that was only exclusive to that? Or is everything, to my understanding, universally uh, across the line with the exception of telephoto being 3X now? There, There's a few exceptions aside from telephoto. There's also the macro mode for oh, photos okay. and I believe videos that the pro has macro with the it has lower aperture on the wide and ultra wide um, so the, the mm -hmm. low light performance should be better for astrology pictures and that kind of thing astronomy um, the sorry astronomy um, I, I'm looking at the page right now I don't see any differences in video though okay. nope as far as I can tell video performance should be equal between 13 and 13 Pro, um, other than Pro Raw. Uh, I, I mean Pro Res. Pro Res, sorry. yeah. Pro, Pro Raw as well is exclusive to the Pro. That hasn't changed. Um, you That's still don't get thing, night yeah. mode portraits. Your favorite. Uh, <laughs> Dolby. Okay, here's the video recording section. I'm checking right now to see if there's anything noticeable. But uh, the Dolby Vision, I... Yeah, Dolby Vision is equal now. So before you could only get 4K at 60 on the Pros. This year you can get 4K at 60 on the 13 Mini. Mm. Um, 4K at 60. Mm. But uh, the only the only difference, yeah, I'm in the video section right now. Only difference with video is ProRes and no, just ProRes. Okay. So uh, I am eyeing two phones. Okay. Ooh. Gonna nail it down. Okay. All right. First one is Product Red 13 Mini. 120 Ooh. Gigs. Ooh. Sexy. Yeah. Product Red <laughs> 13 Mini uh, 128. Because that's I have 128 on the 12 Mini, and I'm not even mm -hmm. supposed to phone it up. It's the base option now. I'm, that's and the I'm, cheapest one. Thank you for all of them. That's all I needed. Um storage improved the Yay. second one screw you iCloud <laughs> the second one is iPhone 13 Pro Sierra Blue now mm. I want okay the max is off I want the max I don't think it's gonna fit my wireless charger mat in my Tesla I think it's really too big. I think it's too big clearly you need a roadster well, <laughs> let me let me compare. I know an 11 Pro Max can fit. Did it fit? Well, yeah. Well, but that was different. Uh, I thought Max, it did. It did, but I thought it got even bigger with 12 Pro Max. I You're think right. It did. It got slightly bigger, but it should still fit a I little mean, bit. I think the Max will fit more than the Mini. This is true. No, the, mi the Mini. <laughs> yeah. I still have to put like my wallet there to elevate it, and that's a hassle. But I accept. Um, the the the. If it does fit, then I'm I, I'm eyeballing the Max if it fits. Um, I just want product red on the Pro so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's all I want because these colors suck, and I don't like any of the colors in the lineup. But I like how the dark crimson almost uh, color looks. Man, for I, uh, iPhone 13 now. What a shame, Apple. You, you literally couldn't make one color Randy liked for the phone, even though you got it exactly right on the Series 7. That's right. <laughs> it, it, or bring me green back. Um, yeah, anything. So I'm point. torn because here's my issue with Mini now. Uh, if there is still a proprietary uh, video, video, like some, web, there's something in the camera app that makes it do something better in, in the in the in the low light performance. If if, if they're saying the aperture is better, we have better computational photography, blah, 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 and all that stuff, then I, I, need, I want the lens. I, I, I'm, I'm not chasing the size anymore. I'm chasing the lens. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, co I'm happy, cool, that there's a 1.5 battery in, uh, hours uh, increase for the Mini, but it's still kind of yeah, lackluster, for lack of a better term. I was expecting a bigger boost in battery as well. Same. I was I was kind of bummed to see just one and a half hours. I was hoping for like three or more. So you get one and a half with Mini. You get one and a half with 13 Pro. You get two and a half with 13. 
and you get two and a half with 13 Pro Max. So year over year, year yeah. over year, and and even between the baseline and the Pro line this year, it's e the the lower of the two is 1.5, and the and the higher two is 2.5. And I think the battery mm -hmm. part is just a little bit more important. Why I'm also torn is because I don't know about the the, I, the iPad Mini yet. That's that's where my my arm feels a little twisted because if I got the iPad Mini, I would not get the I, iPhone Pro Max. We're getting, mm -hmm. too, we're getting too close okay. at that point. Yeah, you're right. I would stick with the whole Mini lineup as a whole. I'd have a Mini iPad, Mini iPhone, and Mac yeah. Mini at some point and just call it a day. Uh, I would be happy mm -hmm. with that. I got, I got HomePod Mini, iPhone Mini, iPad Mini, uh, Mac Mini, hopefully. We'll see. But yeah. uh, um, it, I, I, the I, Mini ecosystem. The Mini ecosystem works for for everything that you would want it to work for just little consumer, little old me. Um, mm -hmm. But if I get the iPad... The pumpkin mini, spice I, I, version I, of Randy. Hey, <laughs> I'm as basic and as happy as I'll ever be, and no one can take that from me. So, no, sir. And I want, I want to get the... I'm leaning also on the 13 mini because I still want to vote with my dollar and say this is a great phone. Because I do believe this is a great phone. This footprint should replace SE in the future. And hmm. with... Give them these colors too because that's a beautiful red, assuming it's exactly what we're looking at. Um, it's, I'm proud. Yeah. I'm proud of the the smaller design still. I love the smaller design, but I care more Me about too. I care more about the camera than I care about the design. And um, I just I'm eyeballing I'm eyeballing too because I don't know if that's actually true or not. If they're both exactly the same and the only difference is you get telephoto and macro. Will it be enough to make me want to get the pro? Maybe I don't know. Macro seems cool. I just don't. I just don't. I cared about the videography. That's yeah, it's kind of gimmicky. Yeah, it's yeah. gimmicky. I cared more about the videography than anything else. And the fact that they made it this hard for me to choose is a good thing. So it's not that. It's cool. I don't know which one to get because I don't like them. I don't know which one to get because they're all giving me what I want. Now it's 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 those other things. It, it, it depends on what else I'm buying. If I want to get the iPad Mini or not, and that's that's a weird position to be in because the iPad mm -hmm. Mini is also contingent on what I do with MacBook. This whole thing feels like I have to wait. I'm ready to buy. It's just uh, wh what am I what am I looking at? What am I working with? I, I want to get hands on with these products, but I don't want to buy something, return it because I'm reviewing it, and then get my real one. It, it's 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 kind of teasing me a little bit but i will like i'm not above that i don't mind waiting a little bit longer this is something i will hold on to for years i got the phone of my dreams i from what i can tell with the camera stuff now i'm i'm happy i'm all set go on without me apple i'll live in 2021 this is a this is a good year for me but you know it really it depends it just all depends hmm. so what do you think nick the reason I'm torn is because cinematic mode is is 1080 30. Wow. Okay. If that's what oh, you're gonna. Oh, at 128. Be, no. The cinematic mode is 1080 30 on all of them. The oh. ProRes is uh, 1080 30 on 128 I, I and 4K 30. 30. Yeah. 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 I, I honestly don't care about that. And honestly, I've been thinking about changing my default <laughs> settings for a while. Sorry, Drew. I don't Remember, care Drew about 60 likes, frames you know, a second. Peanut butter. Everything has to be Yeah. He's Mr. Drew. Peanut Butter. Yeah, but I'll I'll take thirty at least at four K, but ten eighty, come on, come on, a little better. Yeah, right? well, if the low light's good enough, I, then I don't really care. I need to see how it looks because I've seen really really good ten eighty, so maybe maybe it's really really good. Hopefully. If you're gonna watch mine, if you're gonna, wa I'm the type of guy like I know most of you guys who's watching this. If you're watching this on your phone, you're gonna watch. If you watch my stuff on your phone. Like I, I, I understand where I fit in the world of videography. I'm not going to be making Marvel films anytime soon. So I don't care about IMAX or RED or anything because I, that's just, I don't belong in that field yet. But if you're watching me on YouTube, I can live with 1080. I'm okay with that. Yeah. I, I just want to see if ProRes makes a, a difference, like, in, in compression. It will definitely make you. a ton of difference on compression. I mean, I, I don't think we'll have ever seen, in my opinion, the problem that's always been holding the iPhone video back is the compression levels. I mean, no matter what you do, Agreed. even if you're at 4K, it's just compressed. The H.264 
yeah. dot 265 codec is just very compressed which is good because then you don't need all your storage up but if you if you Screw really that. if you really stick it on a big monitor and you crop in a lot, you notice the compression. The 4K on it's a phone very noticeable. is not as good mm-hmm. as 4K off of a real camera because it's so mm-hmm. compressed. It's not shooting in ProRes or ProRAW or any of these you know Pro formats, and it's noticeable. And so I think a big step up that they don't even have to change any of the lens quality or any of the optics or anything. They just Mm-hmm. Allow the sensor, really, it's the bottleneck of the sensor to read out the data at uncompressed levels. It's a lot of, there's a lot of hardware acceleration on even a lot of pro cameras that have uh, compression mm-hmm. built into the hardware of it so you don't have to write as much to disk. And ProRes is... Ours is called OBS. Ours is called OBS. <laughs> and Randy and Drew are recording at like the world's lowest kilobits so we can get this up fast. And, Thank uh, you, Streamlabs. Hmm. <laughs> We're going to post this like three days later. For yeah, sure. definitely. <laughs> I might. We'll, we'll see how long the show goes because I have a hard stop today. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but yeah, I, think, I think one of the big solutions here was to just do uncompressed. And I'm really looking forward to getting out my you know actual Sony cam or getting out like a Z cam or cinema cam or seeing what you guys come up with your red Komodo and comparing mm-hmm. them side by side. And I know the iPhone, the pixels are smaller, so it's going to have more noise. It's not a full-frame sensor, not even a micro four-thirds. It's a micro postage stamp fingernail. Um, and so it's, it's super small. It's not going to be as good, but I'm really excited to see just what adding a non-compressed video codec is going to do for video. Now, the number of people who should actually use this, negative seven. Negative seven people should be using this feature because right. ProRes is hungry on your storage. Like you're talking hundreds of gigabytes for just a few minutes, you know, 20, 30 minutes. Lots and lots of gigabytes on a full uncompressed ProRes file. There's a couple different the versions. One terabyte makes sense this year. Exactly, right? So that, that one terabyte, if you, if you intend on using this new ProRes codec for anything the longer than like 30 second clips of flowers that you immediately delete from your phone um mm-hmm. don't <laughs> you need the larger if you're, storage if you're grabbing these pro phones so you can put it up on instagram don't don't do the pro res thing that's it's no there's so many layers of of compression that happens with social media um the realization that like i, I know what people want what they want to do but at the end of the day it's going to go through so many layers of compression um, yeah, Nick's spot on about like, you know, if you're just doing it for quick shots and stuff like that, um, then maybe the other, conf- but like, y- y- here's the thing, maxing out the, the terabyte one, now you're in $1,600. And if you're doing that yeah. for photography and videography, just get an SLR or, or a mirrorless camera. You can get a Z cam for, we were just talking about this on the podcast the other week, Drew. We get a Z cam for like mm-hmm. $1,400. And go. that's like, oh yeah gonna be i mean obviously need like about another thousand dollars worth of batteries and lenses and <laughs> yeah, screens need and stuff. a lot of other stuff but <laughs> but for yeah. technically even in the point and shoot realm, exactly you can yeah. get a pocket my, my pocket cinema I'm, yeah. I'm recording on right now was was 1200 mm-hmm. i think so and and there is i do need to preface that by saying there is a a need for good video in a portable form factor you know i'm not gonna i'm not gonna haul around my massive cameras as uh, everywhere as I, as I haul around my massive camera. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to haul that around to the grocery store, right? And if I'm walking yeah. past the produce section and I see this beautiful mist over strawberries, you bet you I'm going to get the macro lens out and mess around with that and, and you get some beautiful mm-hmm. shots. And so it's going to be like, why are you touching the food? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm yeah. expecting for mold no. on my strawberries. That's Two what centimeters. I'm doing. <laughs> Two, centimeters. <laughs> Two centimeters. Two centimeters. <laughs> I'm Two centimeters away. You sound like Carl from Jimmy Dutra. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the drums. The <laughs> ProRes, I'm really excited to try, and also with the cinematic mode. Even though it's 1080 at 30, I'm bummed. But um, we've been talking a lot about, uh, you know, how much gear I'm going to need to pack if we go on extended trips. Mm-hmm. You know, because mm-hmm. in the future we're talking about taking trips that are longer than a week or two. Um, and in You're those gonna cases, come see me. You're gonna come yeah, see me it. too. Just you two, no one else. Ah! That's all we're gonna look at. But 
Yeah, he's not going on to the Philippines. Those trips. He's coming out here. <laughs> if I'm willing, you're right. If I'm willing to pack a, a black magic camera with mm-hmm. the CFast cards and the adapter for the CFast versus if my phone is good enough yeah. that I could record a tech video off just that yeah. and mm-hmm. the quality's not god awful, <laughs> that changes a lot. Yeah. You yeah. know, like as a, as a mobile camera, not just as a while I'm to the grocery store, but also to like a, I'm taking a trip somewhere. I'm, I'm going uh, for a couple months. I'm going to be out of town, that kind of thing. Yeah. For my line of work, having ProRes at 4K or at least I, I'm just curious which one will look better. I'm not sure. Like 1080 at cinema mode, like how much bokeh will that add for just a, like an A roll, you know, like standing to the camera and talking to it? Yeah. How does the audio sound? And if ProRes is coming to the iPhone, will I be able to edit this on my iPad? Nope. Will iPads get ProRes? Nope. No, you think it'll be just... <laughs> so if you back up a ProRes video to iCloud and you do it on the iPad, what happens? You immediately happens? have to get Nothing. Apple Premiere, uh, Apple One Premiere because you run out of in- <laughs> instantly out of iCloud storage. You, ha- to you answer think they that should question, just exclude Drew, it? ProRes is not stored on iCloud. To, to, to answer that question, Drew, you're going to have to wait till next month when they do iPad Pro. Uh, MacBook Pro, and you'll see. You mean iPad? Coming. No. <laughs> There's no new iPad Pros coming. Don't listen the to the leakers, Drew. Don't listen to the leakers. <laughs> you think they'll release two in a year? No, um, I don't. I don't think so. I was. Remember, I'm waiting no, for MacBooks. remember my stance? I don't care if they do. I just don't. I, I see. I don't care because selfishly, I'm getting what I want in this event. So, I, mm-hmm. at this point, with the exception of Mac. I'm just worried. Because I wanted this to be my last iPhone for a while. Uh-oh. I'm annoyed that... Here it is. I'm not... I'm not... <laughs> <laughs> Here yeah, it comes, folks. There it is, guys. Jay, start Here the screen is. recording. I'll just tell you what I'm worried about. Uh-huh. Not what I'm doing. You got I'm worried your promotion, The R1T is going to roll off the production line. What if... <laughs> <laughs> what if cinematic <laughs> mode is good... But it's limited to 1080, 30, and then next year it's 4K at 60. You're always going to have a reason, aren't you, Drew? You're always going to have a reason every year. Promotion. It's not enough. I want more. It's like if if people were looking for features all year, I've been saying, I don't know what they could do after 120 hertz. I found it. I found it. ProRes at 120 frames per second. Apple introduced new problems. Yeah. I don't care if it's a camera hole. I don't care if it's notchless. I'll, I'll throw that off the table. Even if it was a notchless, I don't care. Uh, USB-C, portless, don't care. Periscope lens with a 10x zoom, don't care. 240 hertz, don't care. I don't notice the difference. The one thing that might captivate my attention is if cinematic mode is now available at high frame rate, high resolution. Because it sounds like it's going to look really good this year. But my answer may change after I test it. If I test it out and I'm like, eh, it's kind of gimmicky, it's not very good, it's still a phone sensor, then I'll just be like, okay, I guess I'm taking my camera on trips and stuff. But My, oh my, how the turntables. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Don't hold me to this. I'm All not, right. I'm we, won't, saying, we won't hold you to it, a, but we want to slap this you. Is a feature that, this is a feature that might tempt me. That's what I'm worried about out of That's all fair. features. I'm not worried like, oh, what if I buy the... 13 Pro Max, and then they removed the notch next. I don't care. Notch looks great. I they made it taller, actually. They did. did you guys notice that? Went <laughs> this is what you asked for, ladies and gentlemen. Now you got a taller notch. Now you got a taller notch. Now it's looking like Pixel 2. <laughs> Pixel 3. Don't remind me of this XL. device. Yeah, Pixel 3 XL. Oof. Mater teeth on the so, notch. So, hold, hold up. Nader T. Okay. <laughs> he did one his cup. <laughs> <laughs> it is uncanny how good of a mater you can pull, Randy. That is uncanny. Uh, um, can't he pull? Uh, Wait, what? Moving on. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's anyone Randy can't pull. Randy, Wait, Randy is such a talented voice actor. He could pull Randy. He could Randy could yeah. pull a Randy doing a Joker impersonation. <laughs> See, He'll I, have a Cybertruck. He can I pull anything. I can't pull me because I have a, the life. Uh, I have an identity crisis, which is why I'm so good at impersonating everybody else because I don't know who Randy I is. Mm. <laughs> okay, makes sense. Well, Fair we'll enough. refer you to our uh, company psychiatrist there. Um, okay. 
Thanks. Where's it going? Oh yeah, batteries. Hey, this is the reason. So Randy's excited about the video mode. Drew also sounds excited about the video mode. Also 120 hertz. He hasn't mentioned that, but I'll just throw that in there. 120 hertz. I was very happy for him when they said that. Um, Look at him. Oh yeah. Didn't care. Eh. No, no, always on, which I thought was interesting. Aye. But anyway, I was most excited about the battery. Oh yeah. The, hey, the, that's true. Hey. Yeah. Huh. That Good job, happen. Nick. Thank you. You're right. The leakers. I forgot about that. Screw them. They totally could have. This this is evident of Apple being fundamentally against always on display because they have Good. the tech to do it now. Good. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> yeah. I was, Good. When I did that video, I was like, I don't care about this feature, but I wouldn't mind it if it was on there because I could just turn it off. I, now it's on. I would, not I would on turn there. it off too. Just turn it off. I don't care if it's there. I'll just turn it off. Good. Now yeah, it's that's permanently one less off. switch I have to flip. <laughs> Thank you, Apple. Yeah. Exactly. Make my I, decision I simple. Don't, not something I needed or care. If that's what you were hoping for, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then uh, you are let down. So I thought Nick was going to be like, I'm not sorry. I'm always sorry. Hey, sorry. so I got a question for you guys. <laughs> remember okay. how? Remember how I said if the? Uh, I think like in July, July 9th, I believe was the day we recorded this episode. You can go back and fact check me. Um, but I said if the iPhone 13 or at the time 12s Pro Max had better battery life, I would get it without a question. Do you guys remember that conversation? I do. Yeah. And that cutoff for me was 24 hours of, like, advertised usage. Um, so now I have a dilemma. Of, of what usage? Uh, I think we had said advertised usage, just like whatever they were throwing up there on the screen is they, like here's they threw up a lot though i know and they're never consistent about it and they never actually tell you how many milliamp hours it is or how long it actually lasts so it's kind of s- silly but i remember saying because i believe the 12 pro or the 12 pro max was 22 hours of advertised screen on time the 12 pro, the 13 pro max is 28 hours of advertised screen on time correct <sighs> also the 13 pro which is smaller and probably gonna be more comfortable and a little bit cheaper it has 22 hours. Do I sacrifice the three, the, the five hours of extra time in yeah, no. pursuit of a little bit of cost savings and <laughs> potentially a little bit more pocketability and reachability? Nice, Drew. Nice. Because yeah. literally, Nick, that's we, the only difference. That's the only difference between the 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max. Screen size and battery life. And that's how I like my Pro Max Pro decisions to be. I don't like it when they give the Pro Max a special feature. But, like, those are literally the only differences. And so it means that I could... Very, if I could get by with the screen and I can get by with the battery, I could get a smaller one. And on my 12 mini, you know, it's a little small for my taste, so I wouldn't prefer, I wouldn't mind a slightly larger one, but maybe the max is too big. What do you guys think about that? Help me decide. I talked you out of the 12, I talked you out of the 12 Pro last year, and I'm going to talk you out of the 13 Pro this year. It's a uh, poetry. Right, well, I need like to poetry. leave. It's like poetry. <laughs> it rhymes. <laughs> it's like, so, we tried to, to go small last year. Mm-hmm. There. That didn't work. No. Where you're going with the kind of internet you're consuming and the type of work you're doing, you need every last drop of battery. I bet the 13 Pro Max won't be enough. This is true. I bet you'll still run in. I bet you're going to be out in the field taking pictures of starships, and you're going to be like, yeah, I should probably get that like Anchor MagSafe pack because uh, my 13 Pro Max keeps dying on me. This 28 hour, the best battery of any iPhone still ain't cutting it because yeah. you have a curse i think we should acknowledge that the paranormal aspect as well you're you're uh yeah 12 mini dies i, I literally had to go quick. charge it i literally had to go charge it when we were talking about apple watch yeah. i was going to try to wait to go charge it until we were talking about iphone but it cut all the way down to like 20 percent the, the nick tax mm-hmm. on all iphone batteries it's because i yeeted into the carpet <laughs> that's why all the battery juices all the milliamp hours fall out the bottom every time i throw it just into the floor. by being 